I want to tell a, a little bit about uh, impact and participation and drill it down to a very specific example because uh, when we think about uh, making impact and, and telling the story, sometimes I think we have to go a little bit further and say how do we get people to participate in the story, to want to be a part of the story and, and to feel it. And uh, one, of the, one of the more interesting things that uh, happened when I got out here because I just moved last uh, fall and I always like to try everything, you know, I, to go to the cafe. I've gone through the whole menu probably three times over. I keep, uh, I'm kind of obsessive about understanding a product. And I, I went up and got a hamburger. I was out with uh, Stephanie Merriman. And I said, well, I'm going to have a hamburger for lunch. Let's go have lunch on the patio. And I got to say, I'm like, oh, my God. I just, we were just talking. I said, i got to stop for a minute. What's going on here? This thing's awesome. I mean, what, what is its deal? I really believe it's the best hamburger I've ever had in my life. You don't get that out of a food co-op. It's supposed to be some kind of pretty good patchouli-soaked nightmare of a food item. But this is just awesome, you know. Like, wow, this is, I can't, I've got to find out the story on this. And, and I want you guys to find out a little bit, too. So i got uh, a few folks, uh, Rick and Josh and Keely and uh, where's Ingrid? And they're going to come up here, so you guys come on up. We're going to do this a little different. It's participation, so today, instead of just me carrying on, we're going to participate. <laughs> And just so you know, you got to bunch in because this little blue arrow tells us when they can see you. So I'm, a <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking, wow. So we've got a, obviously a story to tell here, and and I'm wondering, um, what makes this thing so special? And I, I'm just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what's going in there. I mean, what is what's the emphasis here? You know, what's the what makes this thing the best hamburger in America, and why does that matter? Well, it's funny you would <laughs> ask. I really don't like being in front of people, so. Um, actually, I've been on a life mission looking for the best hamburger, too, and I had not eaten our hamburger. And when I met Dan, he mentioned, you know, have you tried your hamburger? I'm like, no, but I love hamburgers. So anyways, uh, a couple days later, I decided to try the hamburger, and I thought I was going to order it. And I am the kitchen manager, by the way. Um, <laughs> I decided I was going to order it, and I was going to... Uh, take it home to eat it and I live half an hour away from here Couldn't resist the temptation to take a bite. I managed to eat that hamburger. I think before I got out of the parking lot <laughs> um, Didn't wear it, but what makes it so special is we use quality ingredients and uh, whether it's the bun or the meat um, or, or the vegetables that go in it. It's, it's done with specific ingredients specific vendors and um, we learned this. We've created a crave with that hamburger. I think it started with Dan, and it, it just sort of um, started to grow. But we've created this crave with it. And we learned when we've tried to change the ingredient just a little bit, whether it's the bun, whether it's the grind of the meat, the customer is telling us that's not OK. There's something different. So um, it's a lesson learned. Um, and that's the story of our hamburger. <laughs> Um, so I'm the meat manager, and um, so we found a really, really great uh, beef that uh, we we partnered up with, um, and they decided to go roll with the same thing in the in the kitchen department. And and really, I was just looking at the picture here, and Dan had asked us to say something, and it's not just a burger, and that's what makes it a great burger. Um, it's amazing beef. It's grass fed, 100%. Um, grass fed and grass finished comes from small family farms it is our values right but it's not just a burger it's so many things that makes it a burger so I just get to be the guy that gives the meat but they finish it off so, yeah. and the produce is pretty nice too and our produce manager can tell us a little about what's what's different about the produce we're using all over the store too what does it matter yeah so um, uh, I can't really speak to the produce that goes um, onto the burger because I don't order that um, specifically, but, um, but we do impact um, kind of both sides of the coin on um, our community. So it's not just the produce that we are providing to our shoppers in the community, but it's also the impact we make on um, the local farms that we buy from. Um, and I think it is important um, to realize that we walk the walk and not just talk the talk. Mm -hmm. So that's our impact. I want to also include a little bit because uh, it's not just about product quality because that matters. I, mean, I think you have to be relentless with quality. You can't say this is not good enough. Who, who's going out to the, the mediocre canyon? Nobody. The Grand Canyon, people go to that. But <laughs> when we think about 
you know, participation. We've got all this wonderful stuff, but at some level, we have to be uh, a place of people just they want to be part of the story. They've got some reason to be here that draws them, and then all the other magic happens. So um, part of that, I think, is how people are treated. Uh, Co-ops are about relationships. This is people coming together to meet their common economic, social, and cultural needs and aspirations, right? So Keeley's uh, one of the folks that uh, deals with how that experience is created, and that's just as important as the flavor profile. Tell us a little bit about what's going on that you're contributing to this system. Well, like everyone in the co-op, it's all about customer service, providing a friendly, welcoming environment, um, making it an experience, being unique in what we do. I um, mean, you have to be genuine. We can't just fake it here. Um, I have, we have amazing staff. Um, and just being one-on-one -on -one with the customers, whether they've been here for 20 years or the first time that they stepped into the store, um, having conversations with them, uh, answering their questions about ownership or the product, and being honest about you know, what we're doing here. So um, it's, a, it's a wonderful place to be. Um, a lot of uh, excitement on the front end and throughout the whole store. So uh, customer service. Well, you see, this is, when you think about participation, all these folks are making decisions every day, and the team are making decisions every day that are impacting this story, that are growing this story, and moving the co-op in the future. This is participation in action. There's many other people. We could note what's going on with the messaging and the education, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a system. So we can't just reduce it down to parts, but I think sometimes by examining a part, we can see when I think of the hamburger, first of all, it's just awesome. So that's, that's a great thing because I, I really like it myself. But it's more than that. This is, um, when we think about co-op identity, for example, sometimes we say we're an association and an enterprise. Or like we've got to balance these competing forces. And I think really the ultimate kind of um, aspiration we should have is to create a synthesis where our actions reflect both of those in a powerful way simultaneously. It shouldn't be, well, we need some associational stuff here and this entrepreneurial stuff here. It's the same thing. This is uh, when they're integrated and uh, reinforcing, kind of like you think, like a light wave. You know, you got this electric and magnetic field propelling this thing. These, these two things are, are a system. They're not these reducible aspects that, that exist in hermetic isolation. And so the, when I get that hamburger, every time I can see the care that goes into making it, the care that went into sourcing it, the care that people have when they're interfacing with me at the register. And I know that the other departments, and, and hopefully more and more will do this, you know, have a coordinated approach to creating this impact, the difference in the world. And um, I hope at some point you guys get to try some of these things down here because they're quite good. But if nothing else, the, the, the message really is um, less about the hamburger, more about the fact that Everything you do is an opportunity to create impact, grow participation, and tell your story. And you're telling it whether you mean to or not. <laughs> so make it count. 